welcome to another riveting installment of Great Bugs in History. Chatting is a chance to let our guard down with our friends and gab about whatever comes to mind. However, the chat wasn't always so innocent. During the First World War, chats weren't a form of talking, but a nickname for lice. In 1914, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. Soon, many other countries were forced to take sides, and the world was plunged into conflict. But violence wasn't the worst part for many soldiers. Constant human contact and dirty conditions turned military trenches across the globe into breeding grounds for not one, but three types of louse. The crab louse, Pythiris, the head louse, Pediculus humanus capitus, and the body louse, Pediculus humanus humanus. Called chats by British soldiers, body lice in particular would hide out in the seams of clothing. During calm periods, soldiers often spent their time chatting, which meant stripping down and running a fingernail along the seams of pants and shirts to squash the lice, or chats living inside. Such times were a chance to catch up with friends, much like the chats of today. At times, lice have even changed the course of history. In 1812, lice almost certainly introduced the deadly disease typhus to Napoleon's grand army. This and poor conditions preventing them from conquering Russia. In 1526, the same disease, again thanks to lice, forced the French army to call off its siege of Naples, Italy. In fact, lice may even have brought the golden age of ancient Greek culture to a close when, in 431 BC, the magnificent Greek capital Athens fell to a major typhus epidemic. Few bugs have had as big an impact on world affairs as the louse. And so we raise our juice glasses to the louse and welcome it into the lofty halls of Great Bugs in History!